Hello friends, welcome to Data Pandit. So today we are going to talk about catalog management in Ab Initio. So the problem statement is like we have a lot of uh, you know lookups. Let's say we have a kind of organization wherein we have a project uh, which is spread across different sandboxes, right? There are different private private projects actually and the public sandbox i mean public projects as well so in that context i mean if we are we have a lookup data sets right and uh, we have to use those data sets across the graphs and across the projects so how to do it right so what we can do is like there are two way of uh, sharing the lookups right uh, we can create the lookup set uh, one of the place and we can tag that place to that name right that is called catalog and that can be referenced in various uh, graphs wherein we need those kind of set of lookups or lookup or lookups right so uh, so how to do that actually so uh, so there are two ways talked about right how to sharing the lookup so there is one way of doing is sharing lookup file with catalogs so you can create the catalog uh, using the graphs right or you can uh, create the catalog using the management commands utilities actually so from the command line you can also do the same thing so let's talk about uh, how to do using the you know using the this one graph so whenever let's say we have a graph which creates a catalog okay which creates a lookup actually and we want to uh, we want to uh, we want to uh, place that uh, you know lookup into the catalog right so what is there is there in there there is an we will open the graph graph new right in the and then there will be a graph settings so go to the graph settings go to the catalog and then there is an there are multiple options actually so first option by default will be we don't want to don't uh, this graph doesn't use the catalog so this is going to be the by default option but there are three to four more options wherein it will be specified like this graph is used to create the look uh, you know lookup catalog and then there will be a text box beneath that so therein you need to specify the catalog path catalog path is in, in like dot let's say that my i want to place the catalog into the ai serial lookup right? so dollar ai serial lookup shared catalog dot cat so this is the name of the catalog shared catalog dot cat is going to be the preferable extension of the catalog you can have other cat uh, uh, extension also but preferable is cat so that ab initio can understand this is a catalog okay this is preferable now so this is i said like there will be multiple options wherein first of all will be this graph is you know used to create the lookup catalog and then the the particular lookup is getting uh, placed into the catalog okay second option would be like graph settings to catalog user lookups from catalog so if you want to read the lookups from the catalog only we want to use the catalog but you know, just for reading purpose so this there will be option like users lookups for, then there will be a text box where you need to specify the path like this right so this catalog let's say we have created this catalog and we want to use this catalog in the graph which i am creating now and you can specify that right so all the lookups which are placed in that catalog would be you can access those catalog without declaring or without doing anything right now graph settings catalog does not use the catalogs this is i said look by default setting actually so for any graph new graph this is going to be the by default so it doesn't use the catalog but if you want to use the catalog so then there will be multiple three to four or two to four options you can specify depending upon your use whether you want to just read purpose or whether you want to 
amend or alter the existing catalog okay so this is was first thing right first you need to create the catalog using the gde so there are other option is using the catalog management command that we are going to see in some time so you create your lookups and you try to add those lookups into the catalog and then you can uh, use that catalog within your graph to read those lookups this is a simple fundamental actually so there's a uh, second thing i said right how to share the lookup so the recommended way because uh, dynamic graph came into picture later point in time in abinicio versioning right in abinicio uh, so currently uh, the preferable uh, use of uh, sharing the lookups is using the dynamic subgraph we have we need to check this dynamic subgraph in one of the videos so we will be uh, understanding what is the dynamic subgraph first currently uh, let's say you understand that use the dynamic subgraph there is another way of doing uh, sharing the lookups is dynamic subgraph we will see in detail in some uh, other video because it's also an, a huge topic actually dynamic subgraph like we have embedded subgraph and right? that kind of so the subgraph topic is uh, there so within the subgraph there is a embedded subgraph the linked subgraph or dynamic subgraph so those, those three topics we are going to see now catalog management command so so how to uh, manage the catalog actually first you need to create the catalog you have to list the uh, you know lookup files within the catalog you create, uh, you add the lookups in catalog you remove the um, any tables from the catalog right so for these purpose there is a utility there are utility commands which is with respect to only catalog so make sure so when you try to use the catalog management command either of uh, one of it you need to uh, uh, you know specify yeah, either using the ib catalog you specify the path you export this parameter so this is inbuilt parameter you export you assign this catalog uh, let's say i'm dollar <coughs> ea serial lookup and my catalog dot cat either i want to uh, you know specify this variable and export it so that uh, catalog can be taken from here catalog url or what you can do is while running the cat, cat you know catalog management command of uh, cat in catalog option you give the url this url only do this one make sure that you it should be parameterized okay proper parameter actually in command okay so now what are the different uh, catalog command is actually so that uh, we will see first of all is let's say we have a catalog and we want to uh, i want to list the um, detail of it okay so what i can do is i will go to the a serial lookup let's say my catalog is placed over here so i can do that i'm uh, ls hyphen l and dollar ai serial lookup so if i do that so pick the file dot cat extension that will is going to be your you know catalog this is preferred i said cat cat extension is preferred you can use the dat extension or txt extension whatever we will see why where it will make the difference okay in some time so second is like m underscore catalog 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 dot dot cat if you do this command so you can list out uh, all the tables or all the lookup files which are part of this catalog actually so you need to let's say my i have a lookup like uh, uh, let's say what lookups i have employee table i have let's say employee so this uh, is going to be the key what is the key used for this lookup you know then there is a data url what is the what is the uh, data path of this lookup file okay and the metadata url what is the dml path of this so these are the things which will be getting listed for all the lookups which are part of this catalog catalog dot cat this is the name of the catalog actually catalog so let's say i give the my catalog dot cat okay now if you want if i have a, a lots of let's say four five four uh, tables i have in my catalog i want to in my catalog i want to add one more products 
table into the catalog. So what? How can I do that? M underscore catalog dot add underscore add. You need to specify the catalog, my catalog, name of the catalog actually. Oh, sorry, the catalog URL you need to give. So here I can say that dollar a serial lookup and cat my catalog dot cat. This you need to give. Okay. So if both the if you have a defined AB catalog also and this is also URL is also uh, you are defining. So this is going to be taken the preference when you run the command. Okay. If you if you are not specifying here, so it will look the path in here AB catalog. If you don't find anywhere, then it is going to be failing this command. But either of it you need to specify. But if you are specifying both, then this is a catalog. This uh, this catalog URL path is going to be taking the priority. Then you can specify product, you know, your tables, let's say data file. Let's say it's a multi file, so M file, okay. So this, let's say product lookup is, uh, you know, in the uh, this one, uh, multiple metadata URL you need to give. So what is the DML of this, uh, you know, products table and key? So let's say we have a two part key product ID and product name. So I can specify key. Second thing is you can specify the if it is a dynamic lookup or, you know, lookup created using the right multiple files, lookup or right uh, lookup file, you know, the indexing is there. Whenever we specify indexing for the lookup, you can also specify the index as well. Okay, while adding the lookup into the catalog. So this is same thing, right? Key you can have a year to date, month and so this is revenue table, okay. Uh, so I think uh, I need to specify the revenue DML, let's say. Right. Similarly, M underscore catalog, delete catalog, catalog URL table. If you want to delete this table from the any table from the catalog, so you can specify cat, M underscore catalog, delete underscore delete catalog, catalog path, table name. So I can specify like revenue and data URL. So you can specify the entire path of this. Uh, this one entire path of revenue table file. And uh, M underscore MK catalog, you need to create the catalog and you need to remove the catalog. So these are the two more command actually. So these are the different catalog management commands basically. Okay. So I said like either of you, this needs to be specified when using this. So this is catalog management command. You can create the catalog using the catalog command and then you can try to add those using graph or using the commands. So either way you can do it. So now let's talk about uh, cat dependency analysis for catalog. So you need to take care of certain things actually. So let's say <clears throat> you are uh, giving the paths, right? So paths needs to be parameterized actually. There should not be a graph level parameter for these paths because uh, we are refer those parameters in the graph itself. So it should be declared in the project uh, level. So all the paths uh, path which are you are referencing in the uh, management command or anywhere with respect to catalog management, you need to give into the project parameter. Okay. And while referring those parameters you can give the this notation right uh, this one underscore dollar ai or let's say dollar my co common project right underscore lookup so preferable is uh, like let's say we have a, a two or three private projects in our organization or in our uh, big project. So what you can do is you can specify this uh, catalog path into the or catalog lookup file into the common project and that common project can be included in various private projects, right? So you need to specify uh, when you refer it, right? So you include those uh, common sandboxes into the your uh, common projects into the, your private project and then these you know you can override these values and then you can specify these values right or the common project path you can take it right while specifying let's say I'm um, URL of the lookup so I can specify let's say um, 
let's say my metadata is also there let's say metadata i'm specifying metadata in my uh, this one this command right metadata so what you can do is you can just look up and uh, this uh, revenue dml is here let's say revenue.dml so this is perfect path so you can use the tilde uh, notation and then you know you can use the dollar my project so you have to make sure that you specify these projects uh, these paths should be these parameters should be at the level of projects this needs to be taken care of. also uh, better to you uh, declare all the catalog path and uh, the lookup path and dml path at the level of common project which can be included in various private projects this needs to be taken care so and third thing is like you uh, preferably uh, put the cat as extension so whenever you check in the graph so it will be with respect to ema dataset creation right so whenever you check in the uh, check in the graph which creates the catalog and uh, catalog files whenever you check in those things catalog is also getting uh, checked in if it is a dot cat extension okay and <clears throat> there will be ema dataset is getting created or you can when you you analyze the graph it will try to create the ema dataset when you use the analyze command right for the graph so if what if we don't use the dot uh, cat extension let's say i use the dot txt extension so because it's not recognizable so sometimes it the check in process doesn't allow to check in this file catalog file in that context what you can do is we have a air project set parameter right project uh, set type parameter so we, because dot uh, uh, this dot txt extension is not native to the ab initio environment right so like we have dml extension dot mp extension dot ksh extension right xfr dot xfr extension so these are the native to the ab initio but dot txt is not Right. So we need to uh, tell the ab initio or EME that this whether whenever .txt extension comes for this particular file, you allow to check in. So what you can do is that uh, projects, right? My project. Let's say. Um, let's say my path is like uh, not this one. Dollar. ai serial sorry look up uh, my catalog dot txt if i can set it and then try to check in so it will be checked in okay properly so okay and uh, set type and then you need to give the type as well right okay so next time text Yeah. x ab initio so these are the actually mem types actually so this mem type you need to assign to the this your catalog and then you uh, so whenever it check in happens so eme will be assigning this mem type mime type there is an mime type so i think we have already discussed about mime types so <clears throat> this mem type is got getting assigned to this file and it will be allowed to check in so your ame data set is getting created so this is with this is with respect to dependency analysis for catalog so you can uh, try to use it so the second part right using dynamic subgraph how to uh, share the um, lookups right so we are going to see whenever we are looking into the subgraphs topic actually within subgraphs there are three you know uh, embedded subgraph which are uh, on the fly we create the subgraph that most commonly used thing and there is a m linked subgraph that we uh, we create as a component let's say and then we you link those subgraph into our uh, you know other graphs and then there is a dynamic subgraph so there is a there is a significant difference between dynamic subgraph and those you know other dynamic uh, linked in linked subgraph and Uh, embedded subgraph so in shared whenever we are going to discuss the subgraphs topic so i will discuss the this sharing thing 
sharing a look of files thank you so much please subscribe my channel and share it with others thank you so much